What's up, big time gang? Uh, another watch review. This is going to be a quick one. Just going to be my take on it. Give you some specs. But uh, this is my uh, homie Miguel's watch. And um, I'll explain more. Stay tuned. So, Belova, this is model C860-1235. And the ID number is 96B-235. So, uh, Miguel had an issue with the uh, bracelet falling off of the case. And um, I put a bracelet pin from one of my other watches, I just had a pin. It was a, a um, roll pin, cotter pin type, and uh, it worked perfectly. So I was going to do the whole video on how I did it, but the pin is staying in secured. So I'm not even gonna mess with it. I'm gonna leave it alone. But so uh, all it is, is this is a very weird design for a watch. So here you see the hole. Um, I've never seen another watch like this where, you know, like if Invicta, if they don't use spring pins, no, normally it's like a screw bolt, you know, it's a, not a screw bolt, but a, a, a bar that has a screw end on it. And, uh, that holds the case to the bracelet or the bracelet to the case. And, uh, this one here actually uses, um, rolled pins or, uh, uh, cutter pins um, just very different so um, it worked so I'm not going to take it out I tried knocking it out it was very tight in there so I was like you know what I'm just going to leave it and um, I'll just do the video of the watch itself and it's kind of like a review so I looked up the specs on this watch this is a quartz Miyota watch um, caliber 2317 20Z um, three hand with a date at the six o'clock this is a 42 millimeter case uh 10 millimeter stick uh mineral crystal uh, i think i said this is a japanese miyota quartz movement um 447 swarovski crystals i don't know if i said that right swarovski crystals so all the ice on here is um those type of crystals which are i know they're higher end for not being diamonds on as far as crystal wise um paved dial um completely covered on the bezel and then halfway down the bracelet as well very nice looking watch you know me and my big watches this is small for my taste at 42 millimeters but a nice watch um Definitely has some, you know, wrist bling and some wrist appeal, if you like that sort of thing. Very, very nice watch. So anyway, I got this watch from Miguel to fix it. I fixed it off a of video, and uh, sorry I didn't get to share that with you guys, but... Uh, The watch is all nice and, and functional again. Got the below a symbol on the crown. And I don't believe the crown is screwed down. No, it is not. So this is definitely just a show, not a dive watch. Um, case back, very plain, very simple. Got a little engraving there. You can see the below a logo. Stainless steel. Nothing too fancy. Give Miguel credit. Most of the watches I get are pretty crusty when I get them. Miguel's watch is pristine and clean. And that's the way you should take care of your watches. Make sure they're nice and clean. So anyway. Um, beautiful watch. Just want to do a quick review on it. Uh, 42 millimeters is uh, definitely on the smaller side for an Invicta collector. I mean, I think the most of us go, you know, 47 millimeters is like the smallest we'll go. I don't know if this will fit on me. Oh, I guess it will. 
So we'll put this on my wrist for a little perspective. Miguel has a bigger wrist than I thought. So that actually fits me perfect. Now that thing looks so small on me. I'm just so not used to seeing something that small on my wrist. Um, the smallest I wear is 50 millimeter. And I mean, it's only eight millimeters, but it makes a big difference. The bracelets are a lot more beefy. I mean, look, I mean, this watch wouldn't even gouge my hand where I got that big old mark at from the crowns. It wouldn't even touch. This actually fits me like perfect. It's snug, but it's not uh, overly snug. But let's see what you guys think. I don't own a Bulova. Um, I know the Precisionist. There's a couple others that are really nice watches, but there's always an Invicta I'd rather get. So uh, I don't I don't go for the uh, Bulovas. But I know it's a nice brand, nice movement. Uh, you can't go wrong with a Japanese Miyota. Even though it's quartz, uh, Miyoto's got a good reputation. It's just like a, a Seiko almost. You know, Seikos are more automatics. But uh, Miyoto's got a good reputation for being a quality movement. It's got the butterfly clasp. I don't think I mentioned that. I like, I've like. i always liked that seamless look. I wish Invictus came with that. But um, I think they do the, the locking clasp the way they do. Because uh, the watch is so heavy. It's a lot safer on the wrist with a locking clasp on it. But anyway, there's a watch. I'll do a few photos at the end here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I put all the specs in there that I could find. Uh, 42 millimeters, 10 millimeters thick. Um, make sure you uh, share this video. Smash the subscribe button. Turn that bell on. And continue to support your boy. I'm continually grinding for you guys. Trying to bring you new content. So opportunities like this where my buddy's watch fell off on him. Um, I was like, hey, I got you, bro. I'm sure I can have a, I have a pin that'll fit in there and, and, and fix it. And it was so easy. It's not even funny. But now he gets his watch back nice and fixed tomorrow. And uh, I get a video to bring you guys something different. So it works. You know what I mean? Anyway. Have a great day, and always, God bless. If you're shopping for a watch, make sure to check out Georgia Mountain Watches. Link will be in the description.